as I say, with regard to the initial attempt to gain access, uh, you know, let's uh, consider the different ways that we can detect that. Uh, if somebody is trying to uh, log in over the internet, um, our systems, if we tune them properly, should report to us increases in the, the number of attempts to log into our systems, indicating that somebody is trying to uh, perpetrate an attack. Um, the, uh, you know, if people are dialing in on modems, uh, again, our phone systems uh, should be able to tell us uh, of an increase in calls into our numbers that um, are never completed, that are never answered, you know, or rather when we answer, nobody's on the other end of the line. Uh, that is uh, particularly uh, going to be the case if we see uh, a number of numbers dialed sequentially for across our entire phone number range, uh, depending on the, the company, the size of the company, what you've got. Um, so, you know, those types of detections. As I say, the, um, the systems that protect against um, password guessing uh, should be able to tell you uh, there has been an increase. Um, you know, uh, there is um, an attack going on right now uh, that uh, our accounts are being, uh, you know, incorrect uh, attempts to uh, log in with, with incorrect passwords. Uh, that, you know, you should be able to detect in real time. Uh, and particularly if uh, you see a number of attempts against a number of accounts, uh, as I mentioned, you know, if they're trying that variety, that's um, maybe going to take uh, a bit longer for the system to gain enough uh, information to be certain that an attack is taking place, but it shouldn't take a, a terrifically long time. And so, you know, all of these are uh, things that we should look for, areas that, that should be reported to us so that we can attack, detect whether an attack is taking place. Um, because just gaining access, just gaining access to one system, that is only the, the first part. We then go on to the escalation phase. And uh, so they, they want to escalate privileges. Whatever they've got in the first place, you know, the, the most likely uh, scenario is that they will obtain access to a system um, with, uh, of low importance or an account with low privileges. And so they are going to try and increase uh, their access, um, increase what they have access to, um, increase uh, what is available to them in terms of you know, copying information, theft, whatever it may be, whatever their, their ultimate aim is. Um, they, you know, it's, it's pretty much universal that regardless of what type of attack it is, even if they have a specific target in mind and they have access to that target, they are going, still going to try and escalate their privileges uh, so that they can uh, either uh, attack an additional target in, within our system or that uh, they can sell the access to somebody else who may want something else within our systems. So, um, 
these are uh, reasons that we're you know, always going to be looking for indications of uh, escalation of privilege, escalation attacks on our systems. And again, look for uh, the information about them. Uh, look for indications that they are happening, um, and uh, not just you know detect them uh, and detect them quickly. Well, I, yeah, detection and and quick detection is um, a major part of this because if we detect the initial simple attack. Uh, that uh, gives us a heads up to uh, start looking more closely at the systems to um, uh, possibly even throttle uh, access to the system in some way. Uh, it may be annoying to our customers, but it may give us time to uh, prevent an escalation attack that we are pretty certain is going to come. So, uh, you know, the protection that we have in place, um, putting ad additional protections in place, um, turning up our uh, detection capabilities for our systems, all of these uh, are important once we have detected that there is even just simply an attack in place. So, um, the escalation attack is going to try and obtain administrator or operator privileges. Um, so, there are going to be uh, attempts to identify which accounts have that, you know, those escalated privileges, permissions, and rights. Um, the uh, and, and then, of course, uh, there may be specific attacks against those accounts. Um, once again, you know, forewarned is forearmed. And, uh, you know, we can send out to all of our administrators and operators, you know, there is uh, an intrusion going on. They will probably be looking at uh, escalating attacks. Um, you know, be very careful about what happens, what you do with your systems in the next little while uh, until we determine what is happening in terms of this attack. Um, then, of course, uh, they will try to utilize the compromised systems, whatever systems they have been able to gain access to, as I, I noted, to uh, uh, obtain access to other systems as well and uh, sometimes to gain uh, well sometimes it's simply to gain more information about our systems overall so that they can identify you know what are valuable targets to attack um, sometimes they are uh, specifically going to go hunting uh, you know are there other resources that we can obtain here so